Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I think I may be more than fulfilling my contract in that respect. Uh, I hope you agree. In this episode I said we'd take Ellie and Martinez out, uh, and also maybe somebody else. Martinez doesn't really have a preferred position, although Lunge does move you forwards. And one of these moves you back. Shadow Fade moves you back. So what you can do is you can start at the back, lunge to here, and then fade to here, and sort of be okay. But I think by then we've probably killed everything anyway. Uh, well, we'll see how that works out. I'm not really going to spend any time in the village today. I'm just going to sort of start and see what happens. So we'll do that. Now, who should we take at the front? I was thinking of taking Vague. Vague has things that will allow him to use stun as a as a sort of a target buff thing. And marks as well, if we unlock it, but I haven't unlocked it. Let's, uh, actually, I said I wasn't going to do much, but we should check the guild. Because I did say that I would upgrade these people as and when they become necessary. So I wonder if maybe we upgrade the marked one and the mark. The knockback stun. And the finishing one. I mean, I'm thinking maybe this, uh, these shuffles and move you around ones are pretty good, but let's see what position you like. So you like the second position, which is kind of what we wanted. And then that basically gives us a choice of Tim, Mr. Steve, or Brian as our tank. Now, the leper here, we do have a leper trinket. Where you at? Where are you, though? Here. 30% heals received. Help. Oh, we don't have a healer then, do we? Can't take both of you. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, this this unit is basically useless in combat. Maybe we should look at doing a short mission. Level 1 Apprentice. It's just explore exploration. Brian, can I make you into sort of a healer build? I don't think so. You no. So all the healing type units are going to be at the back, which is a problem. Megistos, you can defend you. Where else do you do you work? If you're not doing anything, it doesn't matter where you are, does it? So you could be in this position. I won't need to heal you too much because what else do you have? Flash powder, festering vapors, nervous stab. I feel like I got a bit of a bad roll on this particular antiquarian because I'm pretty sure there was one available that actually had nervous stab. I'm going to put you in the second position. Not take vague. Or maybe put vague in the first position. Means he can't do this. We're not going to use that. I'm going to use that. Yes. Okay. Vague will be in the first position. And then Pete. Although level 2 will be in the third position. Now this may be one of Pete's last things, and we need to get rid of some of these, actually. Um, Warren Scrounger. Who have we chosen? Wield. I mean, is there a short one in there? There is not. Short, medium, medium, short, veteran. Ruins? Medium, veteran. Okay, we're doing this one. Yes, because I want to do a quick one. We're going to give you trinkets. Mm. We've got a Grave Robber, so we can finally use uh, Grave Robber Trinkets. Plus 2 speed, plus 20% move resist. Stun skill. Have you got a stun skill going on? It's flashing daggers, is it? Nope. Alright, Shadow Fade. Yes, okay. Well, that's what we decided to use. You know, forward, back. And you work in the third position, in the fourth position. You can't do that, but that's okay. Right. Okay, good. <laughs> You're going to take both of our Grave Robber Trinkets, which is the point of view. We're going to take you, and we're going to do the standard thing of... Heal skills and cleansing thing. Don't forget that Bagel also has that horrible Black Plague, so we can't really use Bagel for quite some time. It may be necessary to dismiss uh, Ellie here and bring back a new one and call that Ellie. I apologise to Ellie for considering getting rid of her brand new character. Just so that we have room for a healer that isn't Pete or Bagel that will actually go out with all these other people. Uh, Ellie, I kind of don't really care what you do in terms of trinkets, so I suppose I just give you this and maybe not so much less speed 
Not going to get to do much damage. Uh, stun skill, maybe. Do you have a stun skill? Force guard by ally. Three dodge. Heal. And dodge, no. <laughs> you can't really do anything, so I guess I'll just try not to stress you out too much. And then you are going to need some protection. Maybe these two? That's a lot more stress damage than I'm happy with, actually. More blight skill chance, less more blight resist. Stun skill chance, stun resist. Probably that. Your dodge is okay, but I don't want to reduce that any further if I can avoid it. Uh, do we have a specific trinket? We do. Plus two speed. Are we using your move skill? I don't think we are. There's that one and this one. So we won't use that trinket. But we will use this trinket, which is plus two speed. And maybe we can then use one that will reduce our speed and make up for it. So... Dodge. Looking for something that reduces speed and just to see what I get. That's a protection one. Maybe a better protection one, actually, that also reduces our speed. Nope, nope, nope. Come on now. More stress damage, less actual damage. Not too sure about that. Uh, there's nothing that reduces our speed in exchange for something I care about. Maybe more HP. More bleed. I think I'll just keep what we've got there. You do have a bleed. Yeah, but I haven't got it unlocked. It's that one. Uh, okay, well, we'll we'll see what we do uh, in this very short mission, well, short mission, uh, with our new antiquarian who will hopefully allow us to bring back some extra stuff. We have a shovel already, which I believe is because you have a grave robber, which is quite nice. And I'll just take a stack of each. We normally get on perfectly well with slightly more than a stack of each. The wield, though. That's going to be a couple of these. Maybe some anti-venom, because we don't have our plague doctor with us. And some bandages, I think because of the curios that we will encounter. I may have, uh, I never actually seem to be entirely sort of sure. Whenever I click embark, I just clicked embark, you know, and I think that's one of the reasons why I do silly things like forget trinkets. Because I'm not, um, now they are as as my I'm own not confident ambitions. that what I've done is actually a good idea. So I just sort of go for it. I think we can avoid that room, which will avoid that combat as well, so I'm down with that. Alright, let's go. We have one useless, uh, the that's actually what I wanted, so that's good stuff. One useless unit. Home. Yeah, stand there like you're going to do any damage. Good, you're first. So we will lunge at you. It's just a lot of damage. I'm going to actually try and finish this, even though... Uh, oh, I can't. Something that will hit this? Yes. Wow, a crit. Okay, cool. I wanted to get rid of that in case it started duplicating itself. You... You don't have any dodge or anything, so... At the back, you're actually kind of useless. Ah, it's because there's nothing at the back that we could do. So, I suppose we just do that anyway. It does do a small amount of damage. I mean, I don't care where this unit ends up. What I might do is swap these two... The, t the position of these two. You can actually do everything from here. That's interesting. Uh, I guess these are... Oh, you can heal anybody, so there is that. You are a minor healer. You can... Oh. You can invigorate everybody. That's actually quite a good buff. Although that unit is useless in combat in terms of hitting stuff, and you didn't dodge that, <laughs> I was really hoping that you would do. Right, so we stun this. So I want you to be there when that happens, right? Nope. I want you to be here. Okay. You are actually in the right place because your one function is to do all that. So you are versus stun, so we'll hit you. Good. Back to the pit. That's what I wanted that to happen. So I want you to go before you, so you stun a thing and then you bash it. Um, I guess we just weirdly reconstruct you. 17 damage to heal, what, 3 or 4? From that position you can just fix everybody, which is, which is fine. Don't really mind at this point what you do. Buff yourself as much as I can. So now we can flashing daggers or poison darts. Yeah, poison darts. 
get a debuff on. Oh, well. In theory, get a debuff on that. I don't really want to do either of those, so I'm just going to keep doing that. You're going to be a unit that just passes a lot, I suppose. Like, can you get any less dodge than you have now? Well, that was at least not... <laughs> For once, it didn't overheal. Sweet. So, we're definitely learning here. A minor antique. Oh, okay, so these are the things that the antiquarian helps us find. Uh, is stuff that's worth a bit extra gold. And of course our gold now stacks up to 2,000 because we have one Antiquarian on the team. So that's nice. We don't have to worry about camping, which is a first, I suppose. And maybe we'll find more antiques. There is this... I think it's one in six chance of finding a... a rare antique, a major antique or something. Not really finding any curios that are stuff that we've picked up for ourselves are helping us with. But it's only a short one as well. Maybe I shouldn't have brought quite so much stuff. Uh, I don't. I'm gonna. Sacrifice of fire is the gate to ruin. Place a torch if you crave the void. Okay, so if you put a torch in that, you do that fight that we lost to when James was here, which the killed Tim and Pete version as well. So I'm not going to, <laughs> if you don't very much mind. wonder what would happen if you put in some uh, holy water or something like that. Try and cleanse it instead. There's another torch here. I was hoping these curios would be slightly more valuable. Bagel himself is now playing one uh, Darkest Dungeon. So, oh. Hello. I knew that was there. 90, 60, 90, 70. I'm pretty sure the Grave Robber can quite quickly get up to 100% on that. Which is why it's valuable bringing a Grave Robber along. 28 being the maximum size of the roster means we can only have four more people than we already have, so we're going to have to be selective about who we get rid of. I've already uh, gotten rid of one person. I forget who it was. I believe it may have been another antiquarian, just because I didn't know what to do with them. That was probably the one that had the stabby thing that we could actually make use of. That's okay. I'll probably keep remaking the Ellie character then. Uh, we didn't change our position, which is a shame. Flashing daggers only does one. Sure. Perfect. I like the word impunity. It does very much describe what just happened. I guess all of these are going to kill it. <laughs> Apart from if you do the lowest roll on the easiest thing. That's okay. Uh, vulnerability Hex will finish the job, which is... I don't want to say ironic, but quite interesting. Uh, a buckle. Trap disarm dodge unless stress heals received. Another portrait is what we want, and another minor antique. It's also what we want. You can go back here now. Okay. Bit of a misplay in that position, like having me in that position, having him, them in that position. But uh, what I'm saying is, I forgot to move. Oh yeah, just give me more of the stuff that I already brought. Man. I'm not salty, but I am disappointed. No combat either. Uh, no, we have to click the thing. It is at least a room battle with treasure. You fucking klepto. Pack has a map inside. Ah, screw you. All you get is a friggin' map, so you have to share it with us. Right, well, at least we brought some shovels. I only brought one shovel, actually, which is also a bit daft. I went, oh, we've already got a free shovel because of our grave robber. There's no point buying any more shovels because. Shut up, Pete, Eclepto. Right. Actual combat that we know what to do with. You go first. Yes. Lunge. Very um, succinct there, Wayne, but I quite agree with you. Well, mark you for death. Jack Green is playing The Binding of Isaac. If you are not aware, I do have a Binding of Isaac series. If you like that sort of thing, or even if you don't, go and check it out. Could be, uh, could be something you enjoy. Usually I compete against Jack Cree, but Jack Cree is at a stage where they are still trying to figure out how the game works, which seems to last for about 200 hours. At least it did for me. Uh, yes, everyone can have this. 
Blanket fire is a dodge. It is a dodge. Because you don't get a good attack on that, I think. It's a low, um... Yeah, good shot. I don't really want you to be there, but I'm going to Shadow Fade you anyway, so... I'll put this on here, then you can use either your Stunny one or your other one. Yeah, I'll just heal this. Honestly, we probably didn't need to bring a healer on this, but you can't know how many combats you're going to end up with. Uh, 90 versus Marked and 20 versus Human, so we're going to beat the shit out of this. We just want out that motherfucker, which I am happy with. Pardon my French. Uh, Emma, don't tell Ellie. You shot the only one that doesn't want it. Uh, whatever. Yeah, just keep doing that. That's actually a pretty decent position to start off in as well. Maybe I will start the Grave Robber where I started the Grave Robber, although we can only do two Shadow Fades, which is annoying. It's either Lunge, Shadow Fade, then Standard Practice, or... Excuse me. Or Lunge, Shadow Fade, Shadow Fade, Standard Practice. It hasn't been too bad so far. So marking in this place seems to have been the best thing. Rare anti, nice. So too will resistance. I did not bring any keys. Trap? No. That's okay. Good. Need more of these if you don't mind. But we're nearly there. Probably could have done without a healer and maybe a second antiquarian. Poison the sack. Cool. Honestly, I would have expected the spider ones to have poison in them. Yo. What is all this about? Why are you going first? We'll put a mark on this because you can one shot a marked one of these. Which is exactly what I would like to happen if you don't mind. Stop talking. Right, so now we'll lunge again. At this, which could kill it, didn't. Like if it hit, if it crit, it would hit. It would kill. You critted. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Now you two are in a terrible position for your own good because, wow, well, that was okay. Well done, I suppose. Minus two dodge, a bleed, a resisted bleed. That's fine. You can have this. I'm surprised you're not going first, but I suppose that's the rolls. No damage. We'll crit the one that seems to do more stabby. This one has a high chance to miss, or we have a high chance to dodge this one, so I'm okay with that. We could just like finish him right now. As the fiend falls, it wasn't really <laughs> worth deliberating over which one of those we use to completely obliterate that foe, but only one dodge. And two more debuffs. I suppose that one like stacks with itself. But then we're counteracting it quite a lot. Oh, it didn't stack. Interesting. Nice. A debuff. A bleed resist debuff. Again, another one where you have to remember that it exists, I suppose. Um. Yes, portraits. Perfect. Well, they only stack up to three. I knew that. Um, you have to remember that that exists because it's kind of useful to be able to get two things with low bleed resist. Let's keep walking. Oh, I fucking use this. Yo. Shut up! Dude, what the... It's just food, man. Okay. Here, eat. Hold on. Don't even really care about the thing. We can get some money back for the food and that's all I'm concerned about right now. That was easy. 20 minutes this video is, and that includes the time I was faffing around preparing for the episode. But we got a lot of cash out of it. Especially the uh, minor antiques and the rare antique, which is worth a lot of money as well. And 3,000 gold for doing the thing. So that seems like a decent party setup, having an antiquarian like that. Oh yeah, brilliant. Didn't seem to have... it wasn't a huge problem for us. Everyone got a, a good quirk. Mankind hater. You can go in the cove. There's a lot of Eldritch in the cove, I discovered. There's a lot of humans there, actually. It could be to do with the level of the uh, the dungeon as well. I think the the makeup. We dug for months. Yeah, talk. Years, an eternity, and we were rewarded with madness. 
You fucking did what? Well, what? You did, but you didn't have. What? <laughs> I understand. I think the uh, the pool of enemies that you can find uh, changes depending on the the level of the dungeon. So I don't remember Candle of Life as long as it's still got the ones that Pete had, which Pete probably still has. No one was even remotely stressed out by that, which is great. We could actually do that a second time and not have a problem. In fact, shall we? Let's see if we've got another one. We've got a medium. We've got a medium. We've got a medium. We've got a medium. A short apprentice. Scout. Explore 90% of the rooms. Should we do this? Same party, same thing? Sure. Let's get some more stuff. We'll take another one of those. In fact, the Warren Sens have crap in it. I hate that. Probably going to want a bit more uh, bandages. Maybe not that many. Maybe one skeleton key? And one of these. Nah. I don't want any more food. I'm actually going to do two in one mission. So, uh, uh, two missions in one episode. So, hopefully this one's nice and quick. And we can get a 40 minute video. With two short, short missions in them. That actually went really, really well. I think the grave robber is one of the more, the the swine, I don't want to say undervalued um, units because I think their value is quite well recognised, but 100%. Yeah, because you levelled up now. Should have probably uh, paid for some improvement for you, but we did so well in the previous episode, I don't really care to. Salvage the unburned torch. Take laden with loot. And use. Often low on supplies. Oh, I see what you're saying. He's talking about my pack. Yeah, the grave robber has. <coughs> oh, excuse me, my throat. My throat uh, has some really useful synergies with other other uh, units, and it it moves around so much. You really have to take a party where the positions don't matter too much. Some surprised snake thingies. You get to go first again, so we'll lunge and try and kill one. Which you have a good chance to do. So just try and get the one at the back, because other things may not be able to hit it quite so easily. Now. 9. 6 to 12. Versus 6 to 12. Just start hitting him, I guess. Do you do any damage? Yes. So I'll just damage this. Get rid of one. And invigorate everybody. The plus dodge may help against the fact I left one of these alive. It did. Or at least we dodged it. Whether or not that's because of our bud our buff to dodge, our buds to doff, I will never know. I've got a stun as well, I must remember about that. But seriously who cares? Let's keep doing damage. Vulnerability hex is one to one. Unfortunately that is not sufficient. To end this enemy. Do you have a. You've already got speed. That's interesting. Dodge? Yeah. Like, you don't have. There's no reason for us to have done that little damage. Just bad rolls. And, well, low ish rolls have caused us to not kill these things in one shot. But none of them hit us whatsoever, so that's fine. Okay, that's pretty nice. I think the antiquarian increases the chances of those dropping as well, so you go back to the back. Ready for your next lunge? Lunge! Hmm. You. You haven't suffered as much as everybody else recently. Well, that's a minor problem, but not a huge problem. I was actually going to wait until this turn to use a torch, but you uh, took that opportunity away from me. These will definitely die, so it will just... That would have died. It's fine. It's not a huge deal. What's this? Negative dodge. Probably what we want, as long as the debuff hits, then we're going to say we've got a chance of killing it. You have no chance of surviving at your time. Grave nibble. Good dodge. Why are you still buffed? Because it came off at the end of this, at the start of that turn, apparently. All I can do there is stun that. But that's okay. Because you get to certainly kill it. We're doing really well here. Which is why I'm doing two episodes in one mission, because despite the fact that we have an antiquarian, 
we are owning. We are beating several states of crap out of these. No, you move there. Good. There is a trap. It's here. You are going to deal with it. You have no chance to fail. It's going to remove a lot of the stress that we just got from reading that book anyway. Oh, you're going to start having to go, are you? You're a kleptomaniac as well, are you? I know. So what was that? Plutomania, manic for money. So you will open things that you believe to have money in them. That's okay, because if you're right, we get money. I mean, the fact you didn't keep the money is very... It's better than Pete. Let's put it that way. Look, Pete, you've got a lot of making up to do. So at the end of this, I think we'll send Pete in for get rid of uh, Kleptomaniac. And hopefully... I think that costs extra because this is properly cemented in. Um, claustrophobic doesn't seem to have been a problem so far. But maybe that's just luck at this point. Uh, how about you do it again? What are the chances? Christ. <laughs> anemic. 10% bleed resist. That's fine. Marty, you're anemic. I apologise, but not very much. Yay! This is turning out to be a really easy dungeon. It's basically a level 1 dungeon, so I can't be too you know, salty by that. Oh, that's why I didn't do that the first time round. Just make sure something dies on this round and we'll be fine. <clears throat> Can we get this one to the front so we can smack it? And you dodged it, which is also helpful. We haven't taken any damage yet, and I'm not saying that in a, oh, don't jinx it sort of way, but more as a sort of a note of surprise. Oh, there's one. One point of damage so far. I don't I don't care if you can't have a go. Uh, mostly because we haven't had the opportunity to get extremely hard hit. We could flashing daggers, two of these. Three to seven. There's a chance to kill one. Well, there was a chance. So you get to have another go. Please don't kill <laughs> that fucking unit. What happened to your dodge chance, you son of a bitch? Yeah. All your damage has been undone in one wave of Pete's arms. So Pete, you do somewhat make up for your... Fuck me. <laughs> for your incessant ability to ruin things for everybody else. Good blight resist, thank you by occasionally waving your arms to a significant extent. Everything, you're fucking marked, that's why. You know what? I'm going to use that next time. Will you die? Thank you. With impunity. The dodge on that thing is just pain in the ass. Right, this is the one I don't like. But I can hit that with this. I was thinking of stunning it, in case you were wondering. The fact that this has only ever once cause that um, that bleed to happen and when that did happen it was still a profit on HP makes me very pleased to have done what the trinket setup that I have done there we've got a move resist which is not really making much difference to us 19 <laughs> it's, it's kind of good I suppose 30% of nothing is still nothing so if you miss if you roll a low heal, it's basically minimum of two or three, I suppose. These things. We're always getting these herbs. Right. I did bring this. Just to get extra stuff. That's what we want. We should have enough portraits now to upgrade the guild, which is exactly what we were here for. Anti-venom now. We haven't got any. Have we? It's not got any. You're supposed to be the back, and ooh, you only disarm the trap with Pete, which would not have been ideal. But it would have been terrible either, so. Uh, holy water? Uh! Bad idea. Minus 20 dodge until camp. We're not camping! It's fine. The worst you can get from that is HP damage, and that doesn't matter because it doesn't persist. No one's stressed out. We brought some shovels because we have a grave robber. Even the earliest settlers. Well, I can't predate the earliest settlers because obviously, no proper scout. Okay, the earliest settlers probably would have built them. I mean, that kind of would have 
defined a settler, surely. You wouldn't build these if you weren't settling. Seriously. Well, this is another combat, and I say that because mostly I'm up with a loop. Ooh! Interesting. However, you get to go first. Yes. So we will lunge at this. We could kill it. We didn't. It wasn't the lowest roll, but it was a fairly low roll. Does this count as stun, do you think? We're going to hit it anyway. Right, there's all our stress damage gone from this fight. So now we don't need to worry about what we do next. So I will... Mm, we don't have any dodge on you anyway. Can't really do anything here. So I might as well keep you away from death because you do have a strong habit of fucking everything up. By being hit for an extremely large amount of HP at once. You're going to hit you. That's okay. You missed, which is good because we have a poor dodge. And that's okay. Debuff and the bleed resist. So I don't know what that debuff is, because I probably do know, like literally, but I can't remember. I don't pay enough attention. I don't write these things down. I could look in the wiki, but I'm not going to. Finish him 33 plus versus stunned. Okay, 33 versus stunned, or 90 versus marked, and 20 versus human. So that's currently only human. So the 33 is better, but if we can mark it... Do you have a mark? Yes. So we should have remembered that. The mark is valuable. Because a marked human is dead in one hit from this uh, unit here. Uh, sure. Seem to be taking a lot of hits that I don't want to be taking. It's quite interesting that they have actually created a unit whose entire purpose is to improve the financial and other, like, the, the loot gains. Ready? One to one. Uh, from the excursion. Uh, rather than to have any combat benefit, because a run like this, it's exactly what will benefit from that. So a marked human is dead. 15, eight, 15 uh, damage from that. You missed, which is fine with me. And then you will just... Yes, stun this and shadow fade. It does have a blood splatter, but it doesn't seem to do any damage, which is unfortunate. You, I don't care about. More dodge. I just want you to have a go. And you will... Right, so there is our very last piece of combat. There's a Curio on the way, which may contain some decent stuff for us. Two hungers in a short mission. I'm glad I brought as much food as I did. As the light gains purchase, no, put this on here. spirits are lifted. No effect. And purpose is made clear. This on here? No effect. Uh, put this on here. No, no. no. Well, I'm gonna open it. Uh, yeah, I put cleansing herbs on that shit. Should have known better. How did the cleansing herbs not cleanse the disease from that? That's the whole fucking point of it. Well, we'll go back to the Hamlet. That is a 33-minute episode, 34-minute episode. Impossible. I think we did pretty well there. See how much cash we get at the end of it. And what bullshit we have to get rid of on these people. Clutch hit and nice. Nice. Wow, everyone's come out of this really well. Even Pete. Who is going into the sanitarium immediately because... Peter. All my life I could feel an insistent gnawing in the back of my mind. It was a yearning. A thirst for discovery that could be neither numbed nor sated. Well, we have a long way to go before we can assist you any further, O oh, caretaker. Actually, this is the chap that's talking. The caretaker, because he's the person who's always in these fucking places. The caretaker is currently joining this. Huh? Get the fuck out. Right, do we need to get rid of any stress? No. Look at this party. Look at this roster we've got. Everybody is out. Nobody is in anything. The only things that we really have to do is get rid of these diseases... Especially this one, so we'll definitely do that first. This one's okay. I mean, Dutch had this for a long time. I think he still does. Yeah. And then... We also want to get rid of Pete's... Um... Pete? Hello? Sort by class. We want to get rid of Pete's kleptomania, mostly, because he keeps opening stuff that he shouldn't be. 3,500. We've got so much money now. Look at that. And we've got some new stuff in here. 
So we should check that out as well. This is killing. Like, we've not suffered too much stress on that, so we'll get rid of this. Wait, what's in that syringe? Uh, never you mind. So, this is good. More heal skills, less stun skills and less speed. Oh, less stress. That's good. So that's going to be a good replacement for this one. And indeed this one. Uh, it's probably on somebody. This one. It's 33% rather than 30%. Which is excellent. What else did we win? Anything? This one. Sturdy Greaves, Arbalest only. Move resist, move skill. But slower speed again. And this one. Trap this arm, dodge, but we lose stress heal, which is okay. We haven't taken the Crusader out for a while. We haven't taken a lot of people out for a while. Maybe we'll think about using our uh, top level units again to try and do something else in the next episode. Maybe a medium veteran mission. We do need to level this, this and this all up. A medium apprentice, a short apprentice. Get rid of these. Go away. Ah, also, the guild. Pretty good, uh, pretty good show, the guild, actually. You should probably watch it. Some Great. May fall, now, but their knowledge lives on. we'll probably take out our A team over here. Me and Ed. That's pretty good, but I don't use it too much. I don't use this much either, actually. Do we have a, a duelist advance? No. Less damage when repost. I quite like repost. What are we using? Not using this. Not using this. We're using this. We do use this, but not very much. We don't tend to mark stuff. I might try a duelist advance build. Spending a lot of money, but that's okay. Let's um move these around. So we don't want this, we want this. We don't want this. We want this. We don't want this, we want this. So, this is... These are weird because that is a point-blank shot, which means you have to be at the front. It does knock back. But this means you can move to the front, so you start in the second position. It's basically the same as the, um... Grave Rob. We don't have a step back. <clears throat> which is not necessarily ideal. So that was... D. I'm just gonna get... Probably don't necessarily want that too much. We want this one for sure. And this one. Ed's been upgraded. I've been upgraded. Who else should we take? Me, Ed, D. I guess Holmesy. What position do you like to be in? Second. Can we unlock something that will allow you to be in the third position and valuably? Defender? Not really. That might be a group thing. That's a pretty good accuracy buff. I'm not sure Holmes is any good in the third position, so probably won't bring her out on the next one. Although you, like these, this is doable from the third. Yeah, so there's both third position. We could bring Miri out in either the second or third position. That's usually really good. Self heal five. Yeah. Or uh, plague doctor. Well, it depends where we're going. Plague Doctor would be good in, e.g., the Ruins, or the Wield, because it, Plague Doctor comes with the uh, the Cure Blight Bleed, which would be good in these places that do Blight and Bleed, or it'd be good in the Ruins and the Cove, because it can produce Blight and Bleed with a Plague Grenade, so we make, make sure that we bring in the right build, and we can basically do anything there, so I think we'll do that. Let's plan out next episode, which is going to be Ed. I click in. Oh, that's a short one. Yeah, yeah, We want to get rid of... Yeah, I think that's the one we're going to do. So, Ed, me, D at the back, and Jekri here. If we're going to the ruins, then we want... Oh, it's the usual suspect. Suspect. Uh, pretty good. I think it's a good selection, actually. Yes, we've got the play grenade for the both. We've got... Probably don't need this. If we're going to the ruins, which we are. So we can turn that off. Maybe produce Noxious Blast, which is another blight, which is actually a strong blight, so we should do that. And then let's upgrade Jekry. 
in the guild. So we'll upgrade not just blast, play grenade, incision, and disorienting blast. There's not much necessarily much point in unlocking new ones because I quite like that selection. Uh, can we upgrade the blacksmith? Maybe. No. So it's gonna be D. Head, me. Jack. Everyone's ready. So in the next episode, we're going to go and do that mission. So without further ado, thank you for watching, and I will see you then.